are watching Channel Y. Channel Y, a South Asian Canadian channel. Good afternoon. Uh, on behalf of uh, Canada India Foundation, uh, today we are very delighted to uh, be here with the Toronto Police <coughs> to showcase our uh, gratitude for their service uh, to the community, keeping us safe. And uh, this is a very unprecedented time. Uh, during this time, uh, this is a symbol of we all community uh, caring for each other, working with each other to uh, cope up with this pandemic and uh, uh, move forward with, with uh, uh, covering all of the obstacles which are uh, coming into our way. And uh, this week is very special as well as we are celebrating uh, Police Week. And it's a, it's a, a, a thought of thank you, uh, extending our sincere thanks to them for uh, keeping us safe and uh, serving uh, our community. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon. This is Anil Shah of Canada India Foundation. Today we had a very special day. We have been de we delivered 950 meals, vegetarian meals, cooked freshly at uh, Tamil River. My name is Indira Khurana. I'm a member of CIF uh, Canada India Foundation. And uh, here today we are um, honoring our frontline staff, which are police officers who take care of us day and night. And uh, their selfless service is really commendable. And we are uh, today we are delivering meals, vegetarian meals, to our frontline workers. And we are very thankful to our police force. And because of them, we are always safe. Thank you so much. My name is Deepika Damerla. I am a city councillor in Mississauga and I'm delighted to be here along with CIF Canada India Foundation here in police. Hi, my name is Deepika Anand, I'm PP Mississauga Malton. Uh, we are here in Toronto at the 30th Division. What's an incredible way of saying thank you to our uh, heroes, uh, police officers, and thanks to Canada India Foundation. This is exactly what we, when we talk about Premier says Ontario spirit, going above and beyond, helping the community, serving the community, serving those who serve us. And uh, that's another way uh, Canada India Foundation has stepped up, not just doing a policy matter now, they're actually doing a community service. And I thank them. I don't have enough words to thank Canada India Foundation for doing such an incredible community service. Last week, they did the delivery at the hospitals. Today, it's a police uh, subdivision. And again, I would say this to Canada India Foundation, Please continue this community service. Our community and the world needs it more than ever today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Canada India Foundation, for their generosity in coming to one of my police stations. And they'll be going right across uh, the entire city of Toronto. And just out of generosity, providing uh, food to a lot of my hungry officers. Um, and, you know, it, it just shows that... Uh, uh, this week being police week and, and, and working with our partners um, from public to private entities uh, when we work together we can get so much done and our police officers generally don't uh, uh, really get recognition or attention uh, given by other agencies and the fact that you've done that today is, is such a, a great gesture I can see the smile on so many of their faces uh, it's just the fact that you're saying thank you and uh, you know we go out there every day serving others uh, before serving self and and you know it's a bit of a change today because you guys are actually uh, serving us and paying attention to us and and uh, so I'm so grateful for that uh, on the go forward looking forward to, to having stronger partnerships uh, what makes our country so fantastic is a multiculturalism the fact that we get to celebrate freely democracy the fact that we embrace uh, diversity and, and you know I, I guess Indian food. They say it's almost as good as Jamaican food, so I'll definitely have some and put it to the test and give you guys a report card. Uh, but also this month is uh, Mental Health Awareness Month, and so I've got green epaulets because green is the color that was chosen uh, by the mental health entities. And it, it's to take time to recognize and understand that mental health is a serious issue in our country right now. And uh, with that awareness, we get to create dialogue and have conversations and see what we can do to help all of those members of our community that are in dire needs of mental health support. And, and so uh, 
uh, the fact that we are here celebrating that as well as Police Week is, is fantastic and I'm so grateful and so thankful for the Canada India Foundation for all that you do each and every day, especially today in the middle of Police Week. Thank you so much. Well, yeah, as we go through COVID-19, it, it, it's, it's important that we all do our part. A lot of people don't think that they can contribute and you can. By staying at home and by uh, utilizing all of the public uh, health uh, guidelines, what we're doing is we're saving lives. Not only saving lives of people that uh, will get the virus, but also those uh, frontline healthcare workers that are doing a great job day in, day out, as well as our first responders that are out there each and every day. So it's important that we take the time to look after each other as best as we can, and we all play a role in getting rid of this virus. So please, please do your part, and we can go through this together and get it back to normal. stress and challenge. So thank you for all of you for what you do and to your generous donation. You know most people that join, join law enforcement serve others before self so we're really not good at being noticed or given any type of accolades or accreditation or anything and um, as we go through this virus right now and you know we will win this thing but it's going to take some time uh, and, and there are some downsides but I was talking to Solicitor General earlier and one of the things we're seeing is, is the, the goodness that it also has manifested over the past couple of weeks as we go through these challenges and we understand the importance of community, really working together, really listening to one another as we go through this pandemic. Uh, not much police training in pandemics, uh, I can tell you that much right now. And, and you do require really good people to step up and do amazing things. And, you know, it speaks to the front line. They've done some tremendous work over the past eight weeks and will continue to do tremendous work. Uh, but you know, when you give support like this, it really does uh, give us that much more energy to know that the people care. And I think that the greatest, the greatest connectivity in, in, in life is, is uh, connecting with another human being. And when we talk about acts of compassion, that really does solidify uh, that rule to, to its nth degree. So I, I thank you so much for, for being here. Thank you for your generous donation. You know, uh, COVID-19 has been a challenge for many of our community members, many of our friends and family, 
and there are individuals who have stepped up and continue to serve and continue to work. So, frontline officers, thank you so much. Part of this whole process, and you know, we see before that how to bring cops into large numbers is food, and so you hit that fairly well. No one here is complaining, but I can tell anyway. But um, uh, please, just uh, there's so many people out there that, that, that need to be looked after as well, too. And what I can ask is, as you help us, and today you will be serving us, uh, just as, as citizens, that, that we uh, do our very best to, to, to look after others as well. So I've got these green epaulets on, and, and this is to promote the uh, month of uh, May, is Mental Health Awareness Month, and uh, in times of isolation, there are a lot of people out there that, that are forgotten, and, and so please, as, as people, just any family members or friends or neighbors, if you have an opportunity, just to do a, a check, physical distance, uh, just to make sure that we're all, we're all well, because you know what, it takes all of us to make so uh, such a great gesture on the street. thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for allowing us the opportunity to you are watching Channel Y. Channel Y, a South Asian Canadian channel.